The story starts in Brooklyn, New York, with a young Molly who has an encounter with an alien. That sets her on her path to Men in Black. It's pretty crazy, especially as a kid. And she's great. I really, really enjoyed working with Tessa. She brings a lot to the table. Her comedic instincts, which honestly I wasn't really sure about. She has a great dramatic resume. And you know, there was that one character she played Valkyrie in um, Thor and she was really, really funny, but that's it. That's all I experienced as it relates to her in comedy. And she showed up on her table read, opened the first page and blew us away. And I said, okay, you know what? That's my agent M. She's fantastic. Chris is so charming. He is so much fun to work with. I mean, you know, it's one thing to be a superstar. It's another thing to be a superstar who's really serious about what you do. Really, really funny on and off screen. Um, it's really, he was my first choice and I'm glad I had a chance not only to work with him, but he brought a lot to that character. Works really, really hard. Fights and really pushes to make sure everything is right. And it's something, you know, maybe you expect from a leading man, maybe you don't, but you definitely get a lot when you work with Chris and I loved working with him. Men in Black International, that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this movie, is we took it out of New York, we went to Morocco, London, Paris. You know, one of the greatest things about my job is I get a chance to travel and study different cultures and deal with different people, and I get a chance to take the audience by the hand and take them around the world. So now you have a global movie with aliens. Insane, I loved it. Now you get a chance to experience it, and um, that's part of the main attraction. Besides, the story is really cool and really funny. One of the highlights is working with Rebecca Ferguson. She plays the character Riza. You get a chance to travel to Italy right off the coast of Naples, this beautiful island with crystal blue waters, and it's an evil lair, but it's beautiful. So there's this huge, just contrast between what it should look and feel like and the way it really truly is in life, in real life. And um, I had a great time, man, just traveling to Italy and um, honestly enjoying the food. One thing about Men in Black is there's this kind of retro fresh vibe to the entire world. And what I got a chance to do is work with really talented people to come up with a new Men in Black car. So instead of going absolutely brand new, we went with a classic Jag, XJ6, and this thing is equipped with laser weapons and all types of really cool things designed by uh, one of my designers, his name is Pierre Bohanna, and we had just a blast. It's like being a kid in a candy store. It, you get a chance to just um, not only design cool gadgets, but play with them, and we did all of that. I had so much fun shooting with Emma Thompson. She came in and destroyed it. The Queen. I loved it. I loved it. I loved working with her. She came in and brought so much good energy to the set. And you can't help but learn from someone who, who who's such, she brings such great energy and such a veteran. And she worked on um, a Men in Black or two, I believe. And she was just a joy to work with. You can tell that when she walked onto a set, everyone stepped their game up, including Tessa. When the queen walks in, you gotta give her her due, and, and she was amazing. The XJ6, that was one of the most fun moments in not only pre-production for us, but in production, because we have this action sequence where Agent M and H get into this battle with the bad guys, and they grab weapons out of this car, and it's designed in such a way where all these weapons are hidden within this classic Jag, and it's actually really cool. The twins, there's a story behind that. I met the twins in 2012. They literally, at the time, and now as well, the best dancers in the world. And um, they were so good. There's a YouTube video um, that I saw called uh, Rug Dealers, and they did this incredible freestyle dance that has 40, 50, 60 million views just from them dancing in this one spot with a locked off camera. And that's how amazing they are. And I said, I 
believe that if I put them on the big screen, they would take off because they have they're they're that incredibly talented. They're six foot five French models and so talented, so passionate that I tracked them down and I said, I want to create a movie for you. And this is in 2012. And what happened is we met, we got along, I started to develop this movie. Um, obviously I went on to um, <clears throat> do Straight Outta Compton and then Fast and Furious. And then when I read Men in Black, there was room to wedge them into this movie. And I said, you know what? I called him up. I said, <clears throat> I have a great, I guess it's a set of roles. <laughs> I was going to say role, because, but I have this ro th these roles for you as um, the antagonist in the movie, and you would be absolutely perfect. And I called them up, and they said, you know, we'll do anything for you. That would be great. And the rest is history. They are absolutely amazing. The twins are incredible, and most people know them as dancers. I know them as younger brothers. They're, they're my little brothers, even though they're six foot five apiece. And um, they're these French dancer models who have so much passion for the arts that I said, if I could put them on the big screen doing anything, let alone dancing, which they do in the movie for a second. If I can get a performance out of them, they would be, they would become huge stars. And um, this was my opportunity to do it. I met them in 2012 after watching a YouTube video that they did called Rug Dealers. Then I went in and I dug in and I started to kind of research all of their dance battles and things like that. And I realized these guys are massive talents and they're massively talented and um, I said the big screen is next for them and I told them one day we'll work with each other and I think it was like six seven years later I called them up for Men in Black and here they are.